What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. We got a Vote Inu update. This is major, y'all. A new DAO proposal. Vote Inu is proposing to go to a 0% tax token. As you see, the craze right now is the wave with the Pepe tokens and all the similar tokens right now being zero tax tokens. Votoshi has proposed us to move to a version three contract and also making Vote Inu a zero tax token. Now, a lot of people are excited about this. Now, let's go over this post right here so that way we can be informed. New DAO proposal. If the proposal is approved by May 9th, vote will become a zero tax token, zero percent tax token, and the V3 trading will start on the 13th of May at the latest. Full announcements, technical details, and benefits. The medium is here. To vote, use the following links according to the blockchain on which you hold your vote. For ETH holders, use this here, right here, this app Everrise link. BSC holders, come here to use the app Everrise link. Make sure you're using the correct links. I'm gonna retweet this so that way you don't make a mistake. But if you want the on-chain taxes to be removed and vote to migrate to a V3, vote yes, agree for liquidity unlock. So here we go right here. I'm gonna retweet this out for y'all. Obviously you can make your own decision, but you know I think it'll be a good idea in this time to attract new investors to vote that possibly would not want to jump in because of that you know percentage of tax that we have right now since it's no tax on vote at the moment but you know that 13 percent some people can look at that especially with the craze of being zero percent some people say no we'll sit out right now so this should hopefully you know excite people about being able to purchase vote and getting more vote getting to keep more vote on the purchase and when they decide to take profits or sell they get to keep more money on the sales side so this is a bullish thing if you ask me we got another vote post here so far this is why i said a lot of people are excited about it the vote dial is approved so far the vote dial is approving the tax removal and the migration to a v3 on eth first picture with a majority of 96.765 percent approving it and on bsc second picture with a majority of 99.99 percent of people approving it so obviously people are excited about this people really want this to go to a zero tax so Votoshi will let the people speak and i believe to, yep, may 9th is the end of the proposal so put your votes in by then but already it appears that the uh, proposal will be accepted so shout out to everybody for voting getting this pushed through and then i thought this meme was hilarious Votoshi said v2 holders entering the v3 room be like Hold on, I gotta read that. Look at everybody going crazy on these three. Toshi said, vote V2 holders entering the V3 room be like, so basically a lot, some people are intimidated. Uh, someone here though, is uh, it looks like they might not be happy. Someone says, another loss to V2 holders if the migration ratio is unreasonable. But Toshi says, same supply, same price. It's a one-to-one -one migration. So dope to see that. So no loss there. Uh, but Toshi said, this week, if approved by the Dow, the migration will happen. So the latest he said, May 13th. So that's some updates right there. I like the fact that Vatoshi actually jumped in the comments right there to respond to him. Uh, also, shout out to Crypto Magnafield. He said, vote three, migration proposal to zero tax. Full breakdown of the latest vote, Inu Dow vote, uh, May 9th. Benefits for security, holders, volume, tax conversion, central exchange listings, and integrations. Next mission loaded. So V3 benefits breakdowns. I'm going to read this just to uh, let y'all know. So security, no longer having an on-chain taxes would significantly increase the security of our holders' assets in turn also ensures a safer project growth as, in all, as all the on-chain transfer will become tax-free. No user will be left with any excuse for not storing their crypto in a cold wallet. Holders, given the current market conditions, it is obvious that the number of crypto users looking at the market again is increasing daily, and so is the number of new people joining the crypto markets for the first time. With this in mind, and seeing the utilities and foundations we have been able to build over the last 16 plus months, thanks to our tokenomics, the main focus now is to increase adoption for our project and our token and make it one of the most widespread in the crypto space to achieve this goal lowering the barrier to entry is by removing our on-chain tax seems an obvious solution to ex exponentially increase our holder count this key metric demonstrating a product slash token adoption will also significantly help us in our upcoming developments volume 
during the initial stages of the project, the volume generated on DeFi was not of much importance or at least not of a concern for the developments and exchanges on which we have been listed today. That being said, given the evolution of the current market, a removal of the tax would exponentially increase volume traded on decentralized exchanges, which in turn will open many doors for future developments in the very near future. So this is a, one of the benefits right here, you know, being able to create more volume will have more exchanges likely to want to list e-news so some of these bigger exchanges finance you know uh a crypto.com you know a robin hood listing we listing you know that might potentially come as they see volume be being picked up because there's no taxes so more people are likely to want to trade it so tax conversions our current ethereum bsc and polygon smart contracts convert liquidity treasury marketing and development taxes once the vote balance held by the contract reaches a certain threshold Wait, let me read that. Tax conversion. Our current ETH, BSC, and Polygon smart contracts convert liquidity, treasury, marketing, and development taxes once the vote balance held by the contract reaches a certain threshold. The conversion of these taxes generate a sale on the chart. As the V3 contract will no longer have any taxes, there will be no more tax conversion slash sales by the smart contracts. And then we got centralized exchange listings and integrations. The two above benefits will, of course, strongly incentivize new and larger centralized exchanges to list the vote token. Furthermore, the fact that no longer having an on-chain tax will allow centralized exchanges to list the vote token or partnerships to integrate vote token without having to contact us to have their address whitelisted. So super bullish right there. Let's see what people are saying. This is the best utility. Vote has upgraded the project so far. Life changing for the project, especially vote being listed on top three exchanges in the world very soon. A migration is needed to change the 0% tax. You can't have one without the other, someone says. Someone says uh, V3 rolling on the floor. So that person obviously not uh, happy with it. Someone else says not another migration. This person isn't happy with it. Uh, A. Mitchell says vote about to shock the world with his high voltage, more partnerships, more exposures, more utilities, more vote army. What else can you say? Vote is the future. Vote is the revolution. This is the way, if you ask me, you should be looking at it, understanding that the doors that this could potentially open. So uh, yes, I know some people can look at it as a uh, you know inconvenience to have to you know migrate but if you're on a centralized exchange already that process will be automatic if you're on a decentralized exchange that process will be pretty easy to do so stay tuned i will be walking y'all through that process and making a video on how to do the migration so keep that in mind uh Votoshi is great i can Votoshi is great can you see it i can't vote vote the voltage storm is coming 1000x voltage change so you can see majority of people are bullish bullish vote great move some people don't like to do extra steps but majority of people you know aren't, aren't worried about that okay so we got that and then this is a dope ai created ai generated art Toshi says what's the point of making profits if you can't spend them spend directly from your wallet with the volti card volticard.net if you want to get your volti card you want to be able to use some of those profits that you made you know throughout all these meme coins here you can do this with the Volti card, being able to spend your crypto and convert it quickly into fiat just with the swipe. So use the Volti card, VoltiCard.net, sign up. You got two versions you can choose from. You can get the physical card, which you will have to KYC for, or you can decide to get the virtual card, which you will not have to KYC for. So if you want to stay anonymous, get the virtual card and you can spend your crypto just like that. Anywhere basically Visa cards are accepted. That accepts, uh, basically, it will have to be a phone uh you know where they do like the apple pay or something like that where they can scan it from the phone so which most stores locations had that nowadays and then we got zero percent tax with an ecosystem that will let the memes vote forever so Volti change burns every transaction so this is the decentralized exchange for vote Inu, the widget that all the new projects you see add into the website are using that right there makes both projects deflationary, burns vote, and burns the project that is being bought. Then we got Votiflex giving out passive income. So stay tuned for this one. This one hasn't released yet, but being able to stake and give rewards to all tokens that are using Votiflex. So if they list their token on Votiflex, they'll be able to be a reward-based token. Then we got Volte Card, DeFi off-ramp, being able to spend your crypto somewhere, uh, basically anywhere Visa is accepted. Volte Eco burns and funds it all so being able to burn more vote you know and also being able to go out and collect those airdrops using artificial intelligence and bringing it back to the vote army so 
and then we also got the VDSC, Keys to the Kingdom. I like how they wrote that right there. But, you know, uh, VDSC is the NFT collection, meaning, you know, Keys to the Kingdom. You'll basically have to hold one of these, you know, in, in order to enter, you know, the Vote Kingdom. Not saying the entire ecosystem, but, you know, some of the metaverse opportunities and some of the other opportunities that the team creates, you'll have to be holding a VDSC NFT in order to partake. So, uh, shout out to Crypto Chick. She says, amazing. Vote a meme with true utility. I can rely on forever. Jen Token says, Votoshi designed an entire ecosystem that will replace the vote tax system. Then, Mike the Investor said, Bullish. Cal supporter of Lily Finance says, Has the Dow approved zero taxes? It's about 96, 98% there. So basically, yes. Uh, voltage to be reckoned with says, Optimus, uh, uh, what is that? Optimum Hustle. Hoddle Man says, Just wild, vote will dominate the space. Mean coins soon, just hoddle the line and trust the process. So uh, that's our vote, you know, update for today. We can take a look at price as well. I know a lot of people are, you know, shaking up, but I want y'all to understand this takes place in the market. The overall crypto market is down. When we see the overall market down, usually we can expect altcoins as well to pull back. So projects like Vote Inu, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, look at all these projects. They're all down today. So, you know, I wouldn't, you know, panic too much. Vote Inu at the moment, only down 4%. That's not bad, to be honest, if you look at how much some of these other meme coins are down. You know, if you think about it, the Pepe's down uh, 35%, uh, SpongeBob coin down about 65%. You know, a lot of these projects down between 30 and 60% that are just, you know, meme plays that just popped up. That shows you the strength of the Vote Army. Now, obviously, it could pull back further, but I think the community is uh, bull is going to continue to buy. We can take a look at the RSI, extremely oversold right now. You know, uh, well, not extremely, but it's very oversold. It's at the 33 right now. We know 35 and below is considered oversold. So right now, Vote Inu oversold. The MACD is below that signal line, showing that it can potentially start to curl up or cross soon. So I would be looking at this as a buying opportunity. That's all we got for this video. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Drop in the comment section if you got any questions. I'll be answering them. Stay tuned. We got some more Vote Inu uh, updates coming very soon. Just looking to get a, a little bit more information on it. And we'll be having an AMA coming up real soon. So subscribe, notifications, drop in the comment section, drop some vote emojis. Let everybody know y'all voting with us. And we are out.